Hey, my name is Alex, and today my pickup truck is just stuffed with a bunch of packages that we're gonna deliver. All right, so check it out. Here's the plan. I'm gonna download every local delivery app that I can find to my phone and try to see how much I can make with my pickup truck and flatbed. All right, so this is my first load for an app called Axle Hire. And let's just say the Google reviews, not so good, uh, but we'll let that slide. It was about 75 miles, not including my deadhead, and it was 27 packages barely fit into the truck. So let's put a counter on the screen and let's get to work. Hold on, not even four packages in and we got ourselves a locked gate where I had to come up with a solution. So I take a strap that I had in the toolbox and I make like a little cradle for the box, lift it over the gate and set it down. And that delivery is now done. Now you might be wondering, Alex, like why this and why now, right? That's your question. So, um, and if you're new here, I can just get you up to speed really quickly. It's, I had a non-CDL hotshot transportation company earlier this year that I unfortunately did have to shut down. And a lot of people actually had non-CDL transport companies. What a lot of them did is they went and got their CDLs and, uh, and started driving uh, semi trucks, right? I don't want to do that. My options are limited. Unlike most people, I don't want to haul more weight and more loads and whatnot. I want to haul less weight. And so this is why we're trying out all of these apps, right? And the second big reason of why now is a lot of these companies that have like really good driver applications for deliveries and whatnot, they're raising 10, 15, 20, 30 million dollars, sometimes hundreds of millions of dollars in venture capital. And you just kind of scratch your head wondering why are these companies raising such huge amounts of money when it doesn't seem like the, the problem they're solving is that big or that great. And so I want to test it out firsthand myself. All right, well, looks like this right here is the last package. And uh, I have a couple of thoughts. So you guys got to can you get off the box, please? Thank you. So the first thing actually is this big old Chevy pickup truck. It's definitely not the ideal truck or the ideal vehicle for this app. And I will be trading this truck in. I went to the dealership, they, you know, I'm getting prices just to trade it in and get rid of it and move on. And so if I do find an app or maybe you guys suggest an app that it is worthwhile for pickup trucks, then I will just go rent a pickup truck and test it out and then return the rental. Now, as for the second thing, even though your situation might be different, my job currently has me working from home and so that's why I can have some fun testing out these different apps and whatnot every so often. And if that were not the case, would I wanna be doing this app every day? Probably not, but that's not what we're here for. Let's talk about these numbers, okay? I delivered a total of one route. It took me four hours and 11 minutes and I did uh, 27 deliveries, which is just a lot, right? So one pickup, 27 drops, right? And uh, my score is obviously really good because I succeeded with all 27 deliveries right now, so that's nice. And there is a tip thing, so I think maybe some of the customers can leave tips. Uh, it says zero dollars for tips, so maybe eventually that can go up. But speaking of money, the total payout on that load was $65.50. So split that up, it's like 15 bucks an hour, and then you're still paying for your car, your tires, your fuel, all this stuff. Um, obviously, there's some things I could have done a little bit quicker. I had that breakfast and all that stuff. So it's like, there's definitely room for improvement, but still, if they're paying 65 bucks, like I, on my mileage, okay? So I started my odometer, my starting odometer was 45,550, and my ending odometer was 45,676. So that is 126 miles, including my deadhead, right? So um, granted, you might live a little closer and that might be your benefit. So it's like maybe when you're signing up for these apps, look at where their warehouse is, right? So if you're close by, then it might make a little bit more sense. Whereas for me, driving 50 something miles up there to pick up a load that's only going 70 miles and paying roughly 90 cents a mile. I don't know, may not be worth it. I wanna hear from you guys in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. 